Good morning, this is Armetheus, and welcome to my Let's Play Legendary DXP. Alright, we're going to try a little random game here, solo against the AI. Let's see what we get. Alright, we got No More Heroes. That's a pretty difficult scheme. Uh, also, this Mastermind's got the highest attack of all the Masterminds, and so that's not going to make it easy either. So let's see what we can do. Alright, Forest... Uh, the forest fighter, he's one of the better ones, so we're going to go ahead and snag him first. And then we're going to give the, the bots a couple turns. We've got Susan and Alex. Alright, let's see if they do any good. As for the villains we've got going on in the city right now, let's see here. We've got High Ground. If we can get that one, that's a really good one because it can knock out two of your heroes. And you want to KO your heroes because... Or I should say, you want to KO your basic heroes to allow you to draw your better heroes that you recruit more frequently. And then uh, Blood Stallion is also another way to KO some of your heroes. So we've got two potential ways to get some heroes out of our deck. In our deck, uh, let's see, we get to, we get back to our turn, and we're going to have a couple of rules. We're definitely going to want to snag this uh, uh, Rejuvenation Strength that we got over here. Uh, it's a car. And we gotta wait for the server to catch back up, a little hook up, so we'll just give it a moment and it'll fix itself. There it goes. Alright. There we go. Alright, so we got that, and let's. That's it for this turn. Alright, we're good. Alright, we got. That means we should be set up really well on the next hand with a good number of attack cards, because uh, we got five of our envoys, and there's only eight in the deck starting now and then uh, the two the, the uh, fighter and rejuvenated force fighter and rejuvenated, rejuvenated strength is a pretty good chance we're going to get those best case scenario is that high ground gets pushed over to the mountain so we can get the bonus and uh, by the time it's our turn um, well not this turn but the following turn we'll see how that works out for us well, it's probably going to escape unless we get kind of lucky, so it's prob probably not going to get that high ground. Alright, we could take a uh, hidden recipe. Now, we do have the rejuvenated strength, which is, matches the same class that this one's looking for to get to draw two cards. Uh, or we could take this force fighter. Now, this city looks like at the moment it's going to stay filled up, so we're probably going to... Hmm, it's a hard call here. Um... I do like drawing cards, but I do like bonus attack. We're gonna go with the forest fighter. We're gonna see how that goes. And me, you know, hindsight's 2020. We'll know in a little bit if it's gonna be the right call or not. <laughs> All right. Well, we got lucky once where we got a villager from the villain deck, so it did not cause that high ground to escape. Maybe we can get lucky again. And no, we don't. So we lost the high ground. All right, so we'll get rid of these two guys. Yeah, we're not getting any of the henchmen, so we're getting just a load of villains. So all of the four-plus attack guys are coming out of the deck. That does make things a little bit more difficult, but thankfully I did get my forest fighter this time around. So even though I only have four attack... Uh, I will be able to take out this Blood Stallion. And I did not get something I wanted to KO, so, but we're not going to help out our computer friends. We're going to let them suffer with their basic cards. At least we know we've got a Rejuvenating Strength coming. Uh, I've got two Recruit. Yeah, might as well take it. I mean, it's not going to... It's not the most amazing card for our deck, uh, but we'll see how it goes. All right, so I'm going to have four. I'm going to have six attack. So I will probably be able to take out either um, that Blood Stallion. Got a lot of options here. It depends. I wouldn't mind getting the Blood Stallion just to possibly thin out another card on my deck. Or when I say another, I really mean my first. I haven't got a chance to KO anything yet. Or I might go for that Wing Death. Um, depends what I have in my discard pile. Let's go ahead and take a look at that. No, I got nothing in my discard pile at the moment, so... Probably won't go after that wing death. Uh, let's see here. I'm gonna. I'll be able to get one bonus, so that's gonna be worth five. That's gonna be worth five. 
and that one's gonna be worth five. They're all gonna be worth five points. I believe. Let me double check that one here. Yep. All right, so that won't make too much of a difference. All right, there's nothing gonna be to recruit. Uh, let's see here. We'll go ahead and see if we can save that other one for later, and we will go ahead and get that one. Alright, looks like we're going to have a probably a poor hand coming up. Uh, we might be able to get a decent recruit out of it. Uh, we got one, two, three, or four at the moment. If we get the right card off of um, Small But Mighty, we might be able to pick up the hidden recipe. That's this card over here. If we don't get that, we'll probably pick up another Rejuvenating Strength. That's probably our current plan at the moment. Um, uh, do, 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 do. We're not going this guy, so we'll just get rid of him. All right, let's hopefully we'll get an envoy. And we did, excellent. So this time we passed on him last time, but we're gonna go ahead and get him this time. We're getting a lot of that color out here. So we're gonna have a pretty good chance to be able to draw an extra card to get him. All right, we're definitely, <laughs> all right, well, we got two force fighters in the same hand, so pretty much Almost anything in the forest, we're just going to be able to kill for free. That will allow us to take out an extra, at least, depends, that if, if that uh, Guardian of the Horde comes down, um, that'll still cost us two. We're going to have five, so yeah, we'll still be able to take out two villains, even if that one comes down the road. Out of these, um, yeah, we've got enough wounds. We'll get rid of that guy. And thankfully, I got an extra wound to spare. To discard. Alright, this may work out pretty well for us. So we're going to go and we're going to play this, these two force fighters. And that's enough to fight that guy. The guardi guarding the horde. And we've got a small but mighty, so let's play him now. Let's see what we get. And okay, we got a reju reju rejuvenating strength coming up. Say that ten times fast. All right. We still have four fight, but that's not going to be enough to do anything. So we'll go ahead and just get leprechauns, and we're going to pick up another rejuvenating, rejuvenating strength because we're starting to fill up on wounds, and that's not a good thing. And we are, yeah, we're doing okay on heroes. Um, we haven't even hit the mastermind once yet. Well, that works out. Let's see. Do we have one in our discard pile? And we do. All right. So it's going to be four, uh, four, six, seven. So we're going to have at least seven attack if we get lucky. And by lucky, I mean if we happen to rip another rejuvenated strength off of our hidden recipe, we might be able to hit the mastermind. If not, we'll just have to take out a couple leprechauns and go from there. Nope, we didn't. Okay, so that's no big deal. We'll just see. Alright, well, I think we should go for this, because then we might pick up another card to be able to get. Oh, and we got a couple wounds. But we did get, uh, we did pick up the extra attack to at least be able to kill that leprechaun there. And that extra recruit's really not going to help us. Um... We're going to go ahead and just take that other rejuvenating strength. Might as well. I guess, probably in hindsight, a better option would have taken the, uh, the healing potion, and then I could also snag this clever and cunning. Um, that might have been a better use of my resources, so we'll have to keep that in mind for next time. Now, we did get the double force fighter, so maybe that uh, this guy, the in the shadow of death, is going to get pushed over to the forest. That'll be nice. Give us a easy way to kill him. Won't be optimal timing because we won't be able to take advantage of the bonus there. And there it goes. Excellent. Alright. Let's see what we get here. Yeah, Alright, we got... Well, that's not really going to help us all that much. But that is going to allow us to get some more victory points. That's five points right there. 
And that three extra attacks not going to do us any good. Uh, I guess we'll go ahead and get this healing potion. Wow, <laughs> these wounds are really stacking up. Uh, all right, we're just going to keep... And we're not going to have enough to get that healing potion, but uh, we might have enough to take out the Blade of the Fallen if it gets pushed over again. Down with 25 cards, still haven't hit the Mastermind. This is looking pretty rough. Not looking good for the home team. Now, I'm not too concerned about winning uh, against the bots. Pretty much that's going to happen in most cases. There's a few times they can be competitive. Um, but for the most part, you know, it's not too hard to beat the bots. Your challenge is trying to actually beat the mastermind and playing with bots. Alright, so we'll do the reju rejuvenating first. And let's see here. I have six attack. Anything exciting? Alright, we will go ahead and do that one. And that's all she wrote for us. Wow, Hand of All Basics. With all those wounds and cards that we've recruited, we still end up with Hand of All Basics. Well, let's see. We'll probably pick up the Healing Potion. Um, unless we get lucky and a henchman comes out, there's probably not going to be anything to attack. Alright, we don't have the Healing Potion, so... We'll probably take the Wisdom of the Ages, since it's going to match the color to help us for the hidden recipe. Um, plus, it draws a card, and drawing a card is always a good thing. That's kind of lucky. Excellent. That small but mighty really helped us out right there. Okay, we've got the Healing Potion, and we have, yep, we have wounds in our discard pile, so that's good. We'll just be able to draw two cards. Yeah, this is looking pretty good here. Seven, eight. Ooh. Nope, not quite enough to get to the... To get to the Mastermind. Oh, and the game's over. All right. Well, we did not beat the Mastermind, but obviously we did uh, win the game because we got the most victory points. So thank you for joining, and hope to see you next time.